Last time on Sailing Bella Chandra, we made a video about what it's like to live aboard and cruise full time in the Caribbean with our Yorkshire Terrier, Zeus. If you're new to the channel, I'm Dan. And I'm Noelle. And we're Sailing Bella Chandra. If you haven't already subscribed to our channel, just go below this channel, look for the big red subscribe button, press that button. Having been anchored in the southern anchorages of Grenada for an entire month, we were eager to get moving again now that the hurricane season was ending as COVID-19 has been on the downswing here in the Caribbean bubble. While entering St. George's, we passed our very good friends on sailing vessel Starlight as they departed for Curacao on their way through to Panama and then on to the South Pacific. Good luck, guys. In order to leave, we are required to get two PCR tests for COVID-19 here in Grenada and obtain our port clearance from Customs and Immigration. Within just a couple days, we arrived back in Kiriku in order to do our final preparations before leaving Grenada. So we're finally leaving Grenada. We had our port clearance done and we had to get a PCR test here in Kiriku, which is part of Grenada. Unfortunately, it was pretty expensive. We're not really sure why, because everywhere else we checked in the Caribbean had a fairly affordable PCR test. Our next stop is St. Lucia. We were going to go to St. Vincent and the Grenadines. In order to go there, we would have to get this expensive PCR test, then have another PCR test on arrival there, we would also have to pay all the port entry fees and permits and in the end it's just much too expensive for us so we thought this time around we would just skip St. Vincent and the Grenadines and sail straight on for St. Lucia which is the island just above St. Vincent. In St. Lucia they only charge you 40 EC which is about $20 Canadian for your full entry. So basically we're traveling north through the Windward Islands. These are all the islands we skipped when we left St. Croix and sailed straight for Grenada due to all the COVID-19 restrictions at that time. Now that her Hurricane season's pretty much over with, we're ready to start moving north. So today we're just waiting on our veterinary permit for Zeus to enter St. Lucia, and we are also waiting for the results of our PCR tests, which we had done a few days ago. It's gonna be an overnight passage, so we wanna have some snacks and some food prepared ahead of time. The wind angle's not really the best. I'm hoping it clocks around a bit. Uh, the more the wind clocks around, the more likely we'll have a downwind sail. We do have a window of time that we can travel before our PCR test becomes invalid so we really have to get going really soon. Coming up on St. Vincent now and the sun's going down. It's getting dark so we'll be night sailing tonight. 
and we should be in the shadow of St. Vincent or on the leeward side of St. Vincent where the wind should be more manageable. Uh, but they are calling for some big gusts later on and possibly some squalls. We're a little concerned because when we turn on our radar to look for squalls, we're just going to have St. Vincent there and we may not be able to see the radar. So we'll have to reef and uh, take it slow. And hopefully in the morning we'll be out into a safer spot on the other side of St. Vincent and very close to St. Lucia, which is just the next island up. But there's a gap between St. Vincent and St. Lucia that I'm hoping we can sail that in the morning. We'll see. arriving in St. Lucia now. Pretty decent sail overnight actually. We had to motor a little bit when we got up alongside St. Lucia. We're motoring now, the wind just died. But the trip between St. Vincent and St. Lucia was amazing. We were flying through and we were doing eight knots like all night. It was crazy. It was so fast and so exhilarating. So we ended up only motoring just a little bit, um, which is perfect. So we're just coming close to Rodney Bay. We're going to go in and do our check-in for St. Lucia, we'll do all our customs paperwork, present our PCR tests, which are negative, which came by mail yesterday. So uh, we're all set. Yeah, just here at the end of our trip, I mean, we're almost in Rodney Bay, and here's the first major squall of the entire trip. And uh, I don't know, we'll see how bad it is. We might have to sail through that to get in. We've arrived in St. Lucia and we're anchored and it's done and we're good. Yeah, we have to check our anchor to make sure we're in sand, but I think we are. We went through this really big squall just coming in, which was kind of crappy, but I motor sailed through it and uh, we came out the other side right into the anchorage actually and just dropped the sails and that was it. So yeah, first overnight passage in the Caribbean since we left for Grenada about six months ago. Only just minutes after setting the anchor, we were visited by Gregory. He's a local farmer who sells fresh produce from his boat, which itself looks like Tarzan's jungle hideout. We bought some really nice local fruits from him. A really good way to start off our first day in St. Lucia. Thanks for watching. If you like this video and you haven't subscribed, just go below this video and look for the big red subscribe button. Press that button. And if you want, you can leave a like or a comment below. And if you haven't checked out our Patreon page, it's always a good time to do so. Patreon's a place where you can give back if you like what we do and you want to support us. Thanks. See you later.